What's up renovation youth? It's Corey here. Just kind of doing a video to check in on everybody. Um, things are kind of crazy right now uh, with this coronavirus. It's impacted all of our lives. We're all kind of adjusting our daily lives or daily schedules. Um, students are not going to school. They're doing online school um, when they have not done so until a couple weeks ago. My days are gone. Like running together. I don't remember how many days we've been in quarantine now, uh, but it feels like 900 and something. It feels like years. Um, that's because I'm an extrovert. I like to be around people. Um, and those memes that are going around where it says, you know, check on your extroverted friends, um, check on the huggers. It's a real thing, guys. Uh, they're struggling. They don't know what to do with themselves because they like to be with people. They like to be around people they like to go places and now they can't they're kind of stuck at home and that makes it very difficult so check on them because they would totally be checking on you um if they could but you know we got to follow social distancing practices so no more than six feet um, when you guys are around anybody and then proper hand washing so make sure that you're doing those so we can get rid of all this sooner rather than later so i can escape because i'm going stir crazy hence why i'm outside um, recording this video because I need to be out of my house for a while um, and not trapped inside. Um, so, um, with all the changes that are going on, uh, like I said, people are working um, at home, they're, or they've lost their job, or um, businesses are closing, so there's not really anything that you really can do right now. Um, it's changing how we've done things and how we do daily life, um, typically. Because, you know, usually you guys, you go to school, then you have extracurricular activities, um, you know, basketball, football, cheerleading, whatever. Uh, maybe you have a job. Um, and right now, a lot of those things are on hold. You're at home a lot with your family and your, you know, including your siblings, which you're maybe getting on each other's nerves. Uh, you may be getting on your parents' nerves, who knows? Um, but, you know, we're having to change a whole lot and it's kind of making everything dysfunctional for a little bit because we don't know what to do. We don't know where to go. Um, we're kind of lost um, and we're not typically those kind of people. We want to we wanna be with people. We want to be unified. Um, and being unified typically means being with others um, that have like-minded ideals. And right now that's a really difficult thing to do. And looks like it may be for a while longer. Um, but there is ways there um, on helping this. Um, and there's examples of being unified in the Bible. Um, Acts 2 is a great example. Um, starting for verse 42, they um, devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of the bread and to prayer, um, which is amazing. They're um, teaching and fellowshipping together. They're eating together. Uh, hello, it's the South. We love food. Uh, it's not an official church function if there's not food involved. Um, and then they're praying together. Um, which is good. That's a great basis, um, great foundation that we all um, should strive for, for that unity factor. Um, then it continues in um, verse 44. All the believers were together and had, and they had everything in common. Um, I don't want us to get us astray by thinking that they had everything in common down to like the T, um, down to everything actually in common. Um, because they did, they did have some things that they liked. Um, maybe someone preferred a different type of food. Maybe another person preferred a different kind of music than other people. Um, other ones um, liked different sports than the other people. Um, so I want you guys to understand they had differences, but the thing was they looked out for each other, and that's what it means where it had, they had everything in common. Um, so they didn't like everything, because that's just not going to happen. We're, all, we're not all going to like the same things. Um, but it was more about how they actually looked out for one another, um, which we're told to do, right? Um, 
and then it goes on uh, in 40, verse 45, they sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Okay, so putting that in like our times, that sounds cuckoo, right? Like who wants to sell their PlayStation or Xbox or computer or car, whatever, um, to make money for their friend in small group or their friend at school or um, a family member, whatever. We're kind of selfish. We typically would not want to do that typically because we want our things um, when we want them, right? Um, but they didn't do that. They made sure to take care of the needs of everybody as a whole that was with them. Um, so they gave up whatever they had to make sure everybody had enough. Um, and then it continues on in verse 46 and 47. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together and with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. Um, so instead of just seeing each other one day a week, whether you know, Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever, um, they hung out together every day. They literally were a part of each other's lives. They ate together, they spent time together, they had sincere hearts, which means they were real with one another, um, which you guys have heard me tell you guys, that's why I really enjoy small groups for you guys, um, because those are a time that you can really get um, real with one another, because you guys are face to face. Fortunately, now that's going to be kind of difficult because, you know, we are social distancing. Businesses are closing to help prevent the spread of this virus. Um, schools have already closed. Um, and it looks like things may be like this for a little while. Um, so we're all kind of having to find our new normal. Um, and hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. Um, I know my wife and I, we've struggled to get that in place at our household um just trying to work, juggle work schedules because now we're both working from home um and we have not had to do that in the past um usually we have an office that we go to and we do our work there and then we can kind of come home and it's left at the office typically um not so much the case now when you're working from home doing school work with your kids at home and then not basically not leaving your home um it makes it really difficult to do that and find it more normal. But that's what I'm going to encourage you guys to do um, is find the new normal for you guys. It's going to be different for everybody. Um, I've had to adjust my work schedule. Like I said, I'm working from home. My wife's had to adjust her work schedule because she's also working from home and we have three kids. You guys know. Um, but find that new normal because this may go on for a while um, and we don't want to get out of... Um, that unifiedness with each other. Um, so stay in contact with your small group uh, members. Stay in, small, stay in contact with your small group leaders. Um, get together virtually because social distancing, we want to be six feet away. Um, but virtually is a great way, you know, send them a text message, do a group chat, um, video chat, log on for some game time, whatever. Um, but whatever you guys can do to stay unified and stay that cohesive unit um, to where you guys can take care of one another when things are happening within each other's lives. Um, you can be that person that they call uh, when they're struggling, when they're just needing someone to talk to, when they just need an ear or a shoulder to do whatever. Um, but then also, this is a good time for families to come together. Um, for most, for a lot of families, it's difficult, you know, to have that family time together, but now with a lot of people being home more often. Um, yes, I know work is a huge priority because, you know, you've got to pay those bills. Um, but now we can do more family things, hopefully. Um, whether it's, you know, someone likes to bake or cook, maybe you guys come together and you guys do that. Or you like family game nights, um, you do that. I know uh, we're a household that likes to play games. We have tons of board games. Let me rephrase that. I have a ton of board games, um, and my kids like to play them, and we have not had a whole lot of opportunities to do that because, like I said, we haven't gotten to our new normal yet, but we're getting there. Um, and I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Figure out what you guys can do as a family um, to be unified so when all this is cleared, you guys have a stronger um, foundation for a family, um, and that family time will become hopefully a priority. And then moving forward, once all this clears up and we're allowed to escape our homes from quarantine, 
we can continue those habits of having that quality family time um, as a priority um, and not just, you know, oh, we'll get to it. And then it's you know, two weeks later. And when was the last time we you know, sat down and had dinner together or had a quality talk even for just a few minutes, even 10 minutes, whatever. Um, so that hopefully encourage you guys to do that. Um, and then see how it goes. Then, um, like I said, keep in touch with your small group leaders and members, um, and then use this time to grow together as a family. Um, so you guys can be that unified family unit. Um, cause you know, we're all gonna go stir crazy if you haven't already. Cause I know I am. Um, the self quarantine is not fun, but it's, it's necessary. We need it so we can slow all this stuff down, hopefully. Um, so stay safe, wash your hands, 